and just listen to me. Looking around, looking around, hand back, hand comes back, thank you, and low. There you go, and around to the left, left, left hand back, Lolly, leg, <laughs> there you go, leg, leg, leg. Outside leg, leg or inside? Inside leg, inside leg. Look. Come on, come on, deuce. Come on. There. Now stop, before he stops. There you go. Now, you see right there at the end where you started stopping here, you ended up stopping yeah, there. Right. Now, I'm not saying you've got, to, you've got to, to do what Dave does and drop his rear end in the ground, but, and also too, I should have told you this and I apologize. Your inside leg, if you are, are in a circle, your inside leg is your drive leg. Okay. Right? That's the leg that you're lifting. That's, now, where you're get, that's where you get the... That's where you're getting your forward momentum. Okay. Now, let's take, it, let's take that with a grain of salt. Some horses will do a, a lead change with oh. that as well. Okay? So, that's kind of what happened here with him over there. So, what we do with Dave, in Dave's case is we use both heels. I got you. Both heels in to squeeze and go. Mm -hmm. So with, with Lolly, with you, and the reason that he broke at the counter, do you know why? No, I don't. Okay, because you came up. I came up. You, yeah, you lost that contact. I got you. Okay. Okay. It's that same thing. If you look up there, just look up and go like this, because this is what's going to happen. Your hips, you're going to be doing just like this. Okay, so you got to look up. Okay. Gotcha. So, doing that, doing that same thing whenever you're... Oh, mm, buddy. Boom. Cool. Gotta remember. I remember yeah. you told me about the signs. Yeah, because what happens is that gives you guidance to where you're right. going to. You see, if I'm looking up and around, look, I'm coming right. around with my horse. Okay. All right. So now, Dave, you're gonna go down. This time, what you're gonna do is I want you to lope as straight a line as you can, coming out. Okay. Down to a trot, and then turn back, lope to the fence, and stop. Okay. So we're gonna stay here where we're kind of gonna run. It's like you hit the gas, well, now you got to drive the thing, you know. As my grandfather would say, You got the shoes on the thing, go ahead and start riding, you know. If it's saddled, you better ride it, boy. So, <laughs> so the same thing. So, just and have some idea of a plan, okay? All right, Lolly, your turn to go down. Now, this time, we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to ask him to lope. When we make the turn, we're going to stop. Exactly right. Yeah. He's already thinking low. Okay? So here we go. So start trotting. Go. Good. Yep. Because you're making this big old rear end work. <laughs> These damn horses do not want to walk in a straight Stop. line. Stop. Hard. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, did you notice them? Well, I saw them too. Okay. You said it, so yeah. So here's what's happening. Where are they? I don't care whether you're a beginner, advanced beginner, or intermediate rider. Until you get to the advanced, intermediate, and on the brink of a pro <coughs> rider, when someone tells you to do something, we as humans will take it to the nth degree. Why, or why do you do that? because you're entrusting me to keep you safe. You're wanting to learn, okay? So it's the same thing. So when I tell you to do something, here's what you do. Uh, it, it's like you're taking a dump. 
that's what you're doing. You're driving those bones in there so severely because I've told you to do that, and you're going, oh. Well, then he goes, hey, lady, I feel that stop. Because you're driving, even though you think with all that leather and everything, but, you know, you can, okay, even here, you know, even here, it doesn't matter. He can feel that pressure still. When you shift that pressure and you go like that, he goes, mm. I feel that because you're right on top of his kidneys. Now, so what's the better now, way to see? I couldn't tell you that because now I know you're gonna go like this. Now, now it's like, oh. Well, that's what I tell you to stand up. <laughs> yeah, she's she's already like, well, if I put this saddle on, is that gonna hurt? <laughs> so what I'm saying is this: is there is this, and there is this. So I'll just this. try to be more relaxed. You think? Right. There you go. Let me try. Because you know, we we get up there and we stiffen up. You're trying to do everything, and I'm giving you all these different things to do. But you've got to basically just, just enjoy it. You know, it's like somebody dancing like this, or somebody dancing. Right. Know? It's a dance part. It just so happens that you're attached to it. It's like they're the big person, and you're the little person standing on their feet. And you're just trying to get in sync with them, where you don't just have your heels dug down into the top of their feet, you know. So that's, that's what happens with your seat. Okay. okay. So, and what you would kind of notice, with him is the lighter really and truly that we get how do I explain it to where it doesn't sound like I want you to tip forward the lighter that you you if you put a put a let's say a hundred percent weight down on your butt bones like right now John, just jam them in there look at his ears see you see him move you'll on the video you'll see that see it you now just jam just really push down so what you're going to see is now walk forward and just relax your body. Just relax your hips. Just let it go. Let it go. Okay, buddy. Instead of just being up there and just kind of like willy nilly. Well, part of the, a lot of that has to do with you're so much more limber now and you feel and look so much better. Not as top heavy. Yeah. And whenever you have that, it's, it's like <laughs> I have a, I have a really, I really have to get them here in order to get them to here, but I've got to let them know how over, you know, or I'll say to them, listen, we're too, yeah. you know. So it's the same thing. It's, it's whenever you get this much of your body, 
you know, you get a person that's 40% or 60% of their body is from their pelvis to here, and 40 is down there, they actually are, are, it's much harder for them to ride versus the opposite way. Okay? All right. So here's what we're going to do now. Dave is going to start following Raleigh. Raleigh's going to keep going. Keep jogging. There you go. Keep jogging and loosen your hips. Easy. That was my bad. I didn't tell him where to go. That's why I did it because I wanted to have a little. Okay, what do I need?